Hello students, welcome in my YouTube channel Sevam Educations. In today's lecture, we will study about what is meant by semi-permeable membrane, osmosis, then after osmotic pressure, what is meant by hypertonic solution and hypotonic solutions, isotonic solution and about reverse osmosis phenomena. Now first we will start about semi-permeable membrane. Now there are lot of membrane are available, some are available naturally or some are man-made membranes. Now the membrane having a property which allow the passing of solvent molecules but solute molecule cannot pass through it then such a membrane is considered as a semi permeable membrane. So now let's define it semi permeable membrane having a property it allow the passing of solvent molecule. So passing of solvent molecule means solvent molecule can allow the pass. But we can say that throughout the semi permeable membrane, solute molecule cannot pass. So, semi permeable membrane, it allows the passing of solvent molecule, but solute molecule cannot pass through it. Such a membrane is known as a semi permeable membrane. Now, there are a lot of examples of semi permeable membrane. There are different types of paper, just like a cellophane paper, we can say. Then, butter paper, parchment paper, so this all different type of papers, cellophane paper, butter paper, parchment papers are example of semi permeable membrane. Some are uh, synthesized uh, cellulose mat containing material, suppose we can say that cellulose acetate, cellulose acetate is used in a RO plant, so it is also a semi permeable membrane. Then uh, cell wall of animal similarly cell wall of a plant so this different type of cell wall is also example of a semi permeable membrane so this throughout this we observe that solvent molecule can freely pass from one part to another part but it is observed that this doesn't allow the passing of a solute molecules similarly the best example is urinary bladder of animal now urinary bladder of animal through it urine molecules can pass but that solvent or important component of our body solute important component of our body is not allow the passing through it so it is known as a semi permeable membrane now this semi permeable membrane play an important role in osmosis phenomena it is observed that when uh, we are taking a dry grapes or a almond when we put in a water during evening time and we observe it morning then it is observed that this dry grapes or almond is swell very well so why this swelling occur an answer of this question is osmosis due to the phenomena of osmosis the grapes will swell now in this osmosis phenomena semi permeable play the most important role so now we have to understood about what is meant by osmosis now to understand the phenomena of osmosis, we will perform an experiment. Now I have taken a one container. Now this container is divided in a two part through a semi permeable membrane. So now here with a black dotted line, I have drawn a semi permeable membrane. So this black dotted line indicate about semi permeable membrane and this I have written as a SEM. So SEM is nothing but a semi permeable membrane. Now here in a left hand side part, I am taking a concentrated solution of copper sulphate. Now here we can take solutions as well as pure solvent also. So here I have taken a concentrated copper sulphate solutions. And in a, this side, I am taking a dilute solutions of copper sulphate. Now here I have taken a dilute solution of copper sulphate remaining part is here dilute solution of copper sulphate I have taken now when this both solutions are kept in contact with through a semi permeable membrane then after some time we can observe that there is a spontaneous flow of solvent will start from dilute solution to concentrate solutions so when we allow to keep it as it is for a uh, half an hour or one hours then after this we will observe that the surface level of 
dilute solution will decrease and the surface level of the concentrated solution is increased. Now why the surface level of concentrated solution increase and dilute solution decrease then it is due to the osmosis phenomena. Here it is observed that solvent molecule will start to flow from dilute solution to concentrated solutions and this thing is considered as an osmosis. So now osmosis can be defined in this way when two different solutions or a solution having a different concentrations we have put it in between them semi permeable membrane and kept it is as it is where it is observed that solvent molecule will start to flow from dilute solution to concentrate solutions or we can say uh, suppose I have taken here pure solvent then from pure solvent to solutions and such a spontaneous flow is considered as a osmosis. So osmosis is nothing but a spontaneous flow of solvent molecule from dilute solution to concentrated solutions or from pure solvent to solutions. Now there are a lot of example of osmosis phenomena in our day to day life. Suppose when we take a, any plant then from root to leaves water molecule reach itself so this is due to the osmosis so actual meaning of this osmosis is to push it is a greek word the meaning of osmosis is meaning if we can say that to push here it is observed that there is a one force which pushing the solvent molecule from dilute to concentrated solutions or pure solvent to solutions now uh, this type of phenomena is also observed in a human body also or in animal body water reach from one cell to another cell due to this osmosis phenomena now lot of example we can give that uh, in wilted flowers when put it in a water then it will revive this reviving occur it is also due to the osmosis when dry grapes or a uh, almond we kept in a water it swelling occurs this is also due to osmosis so now there are lot of example of osmosis which play important role in our day to day life now we want to know about a osmotic pressure. To understand about osmotic pressure, now same experiment we will perform in a different way. Now I have taken a two different solutions or we can say that one side I have taken a pure solvent and another side I have taken a solutions. Suppose here I have taken a solutions and here I am taking a pure solvent. Now both are kept in contact through a semi permeable membrane. So here uh, this solution is a dilute solution or we can say it is a solvent present. Now here this is nothing but a semi permeable membrane I have given as a SEM. Now both solution kept in contact with each other. Now on this we have put a piston. This piston is movable and it creating a pressure on it. Suppose I assume that this piston create a pressure it is a P at M. Now same as on this another side also I have put a same pistons and it is also creating a pressure on this and it is also P at M. Now here when we put both the solutions in contact with each other then it is observed that uh, both solution having a different concentration. So now flow of solvent will start from pure solvent to solutions or dilute solution to concentrated solutions. Now this is occurred due to the phenomena known as a osmosis. Now I want to stop this flow. I don't want that solvent molecule come from dilute solution to concentrate solutions or from pure solvent to solutions. Then I have to apply certain definite pressure. So by applying this certain definite pressure this flow of solvent can be stopped and such a pressure is known as an osmotic pressure. So we can say that by applying certain definite pressure, by applying certain definite pressure, it is observed that osmosis can be stopped. This osmosis process can be stopped and such a pressure is known as a, such a pressure is known as an osmotic pressure. And osmotic pressure is given by the symbol 
So now generally this osmotic pressure is applied on a solution side. So when we apply on the solution side, then the solvent flow coming from dilute solutions, it will stop. So this minimum pressure which we have to apply to stop osmosis, it is known as a osmotic pressures. Now, here we have taken a two different solutions. Suppose I assume that uh, concentration of first solutions which I have taken, its concentration is C1 and its osmotic pressure will be pi. So we can say that for a solutions or a concentrated solutions, we can say for a concentrated solutions, its osmotic pressure will be pi1 C1 RT. Now temperature for both this, it is a equal or common. Now similarly for a dilute solutions, we can say that for a dilute solutions, it osmotic pressure will be pi 2 and it will be a C2 RT. So now the solutions, when we have taken two different solutions, both having a different concentrations, then one solution having a higher osmotic pressure. Suppose we observe that pi 1 having a higher osmotic pressure as compared to pi 2. So, the solution having a higher osmotic pressure, it is considered as a hypertonic solution. So, here this solution whose osmotic pressure is high, so it is considered as a higher os pressure, higher vapor pressures. Now, this solution having a higher vapor pressure, so such a solution whose vapor pressure is high is known as a hypertonic solution. Now similarly, another solution having a less vapor pressures or we can say it has a osmotic pressure is comparatively less as compared to other and such a solution whose vapor pressure is less compared to other is known as a hypotonic solution. So now, when we have two different solutions, both having a different concentrations both having a different concentration, so the solution whose concentration is high or the solution whose osmotic pressure is high. Such a solution is known as a hypertonic solution and as compared to it, another solution whose vapor pressure as well as concentration is less is known as a hypotonic solution. Now when both solution came kept in contact, then solvent molecule will flow. So question was up to what time this migration of solvent molecule will continue. So it is observed that when concentration of both solutions, suppose this solution is a concentrated solution and this solution is a dilute solution, both are kept in a contact with each other, then solvent molecule will flow. But when it is observed that concentration become equal or same, then the flow of solvent to solution will stop. So it is observed that for a solution when concentration becomes equal then the passing of solvent molecule will stop then such a solution is known as isotonic solutions so isotonic solution having a we can say that isotonic solution having a same osmotic pressure same osmotic pressure means same pi and similarly isotonic solutions when we take then both the solution having a same concentrations. So whenever concentration of both solution become equal then osmosis phenomena will stop. Osmosis phenomena will stop. So such a solution are considered as a isotonic solutions. So we have to put in our mind for isotonic solutions their concentration are same, osmotic pressure is also same. So there is no osmosis to take place in between them. So now here, we have taken two solutions. In these solutions, here this solution having a higher concentration. So we can say it is a hypertonic solution. Similarly here, this solution whatever I have taken, it is dilute solutions. Its concentration and osmotic pressure is less. So it is considered as a hypotonic solutions about reverse osmosis phenomena. Now reverse osmosis phenomena is totally opposite to the osmosis. Now here we observe that when we have put in a semi permeable membrane, solvent will flow from dilute solution to concentrate solutions. But by applying certain definite pressures or when we are applying pressure more than osmotic pressures, 
that is observed that solvent molecule will flow opposite to this so, means solvent molecule will flow from concentrate solution to dilute solutions so it is observed that when we are applying more pressure towards the solution side so when we are applying more pressure on solutions or when we are applying a more pressure on concentrated solutions then it is observed that solvent molecule will flow from solvent molecule in a reverse osmosis phenomena when we are applying a more pressure on a concentrated solutions then it is observed that solvent molecule will flow from concentrate solution to dilute solutions and such a thing is known as a reverse osmosis it is totally opposite to the osmosis in osmosis phenomena solvent molecule will flow from dilute solution to concentrate solutions while in reverse osmosis phenomena solvent molecule will flow from solvent molecule will flow from concentrated solution to dilute solutions so now what is the usefulness of this phenomena it is observed that in country like israel they are converting saline water into potable water or drinking waters so this sea water is converting in a potable waters by using this phenomena in our country also company like reliance at jamnagar are also converting saline water into a sweet water to overcome their day to day water demands so by using this reverse osmosis phenomena we can convert saline water into a potable or a sweet waters so it is observed that reverse osmosis phenomena generally it is our used in a ro plant ro plant means it is applying reverse osmosis phenomena and cellulose diacetate or cellulose acetate membrane they are using so in this lecture we will study about what is osmosis osmotic pressure what is mean by hypertonic solution hypotonic solution different type of semi permeable membrane isotonic solution and reverse osmosis phenomena now don't forget to share and subscribe my education channel sivam educations